Today everyone, Maggie B here for Apps for iPads with a video tutorial today of a brand new application for your iPad called Notes Plus. It's a fabulous hybrid type application for your iPad that allows you to combine the best of note taking apps with a audio recorder. And if you were with us last week, you will have seen that we did a full review on this application. I invite you to go back and read that review. We did an interview with the developer Vietron and um, we spent a full work day learning the application, um, dissecting it, pulling it apart, asking Vietron lots of questions, getting lots of answers. Uh, we do that for every review that we do on appsforipads.net. We do not cut, paste, and regurgitate information from other websites for you. Um, we do the work and we bring you an honest opinion of the application as we see it. And if you go back and you read that review, you'll know that we gave it four and a quarter stars out of five. We did an interview and there is a full length video of an overview of the application on that article. I, I strongly suggest that you go ahead and you read that and, and watch the video. That coupled with this tutorial will give you a big head start in using Notes Plus. It's, it's actually a very simple uh, application to use once you know a little bit of the ins and outs of it not a problem and also you can find in that article how you can win the application um, free for your iPad all the information all the details on how you can qualify to get a free copy of Notes Plus is included in that article but today what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through how you um, generate a note in Notes Plus along with um, with the audio sound bite that goes with it. So we're going to jump right in here and first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on the plus sign which generates a brand new note. When a note is, is generated you will notice that it, it always named the date followed by the word note. Now if you would like to change the name to something that makes more sense for you you can tap on the top of the tablet um, bar and it brings up the integrated keyboard and it's as easy as that to rename the um, the note okay first time you come into your note you're going to want to set up some settings so the you're presented when you when you touch the wrench what you're going to get is four tabs the first one is pen options you'll see that you have six different thicknesses that you can use of the pen. The opacity is just how light or dark you're going to want the uh, stroke to appear on the page or printed out on a piece of paper and it's a slider so there's an infinite amount of uh, play in that. If you scroll down there are 12 different colors you can select from. If you scroll down and you turn the fill color on what that does it takes your stroke color and makes it the outline of the um, the stroke and the fill color that you pick below becomes the inside of the stroke. So as you can see right here I have black with white selected. Let me just, I'm going to just real quick show you how that works. It's pretty cool. I mean it's different. Um, it's when you want to really draw attention to something you can do that with six thicknesses, infinite opacity, and 12 colors you can customize um, Notes Plus to write any way that you feel comfortable. We all have our favorite pen and our favorite color ink and our favorite tablets. You can have that in Notes Plus which makes it a great customizable application for your iPad. Now I didn't plan on doing that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up here I'm going to show you how to use the undo button. It's in the upper left hand corner and every time I tap on it it is eliminating, deleting from the screen and from the note what you had put on and in the note um, the last time your finger touched the screen of your iPad. Okay, uh, As long as I'm up there what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the microphone. If I tap on that, what it's doing now is it is um, recording exactly what I am saying 
as, um, as I am jotting my notes, and it is keeping a counter of exactly how long it, ha it has been running. So if I tap on it again, it will stop, and when it stops, what it does is gives me the universal triangle signed for play. What it's doing now is it is um, recording exactly what I am saying. Okay, so you can start and stop it, and if I start the microphone again, it, it just takes off right where it left off. Okay, takes up where it left off. So anyhow, we're going to go back to settings. I'm going to leave the microphone running, and we're going to set this up the way I want to um, write for you. We're going to do that. We're going to turn the fill off, okay? And then we're going to move over to text options. Text options is for typing. You can jump between handwritten notes and typing as easily as tapping the screen in, in Notes Plus, which is wonderful. Now, anybody that has read any of our reviews on appsforipads.net knows that I do not like to take typewritten notes. That to me is not a natural thing. I'm not a stenographer. I'm not going to sit in a business meeting and try to type notes. It's just, it's, it's, it's not natural to me to do that. And, um, I do not like note-taking applications that only give you that option, or they make handwritten notes so difficult that it essentially is saying you have to type them. But there are times that I do want to type things in. I actually did a whole page of questions to ask Vietron this past uh, last week, and he couldn't read my handwriting. I did, I did it in Notes Plus, and he couldn't read my handwriting, so. You know, there's times that I send something to someone, I export, I email the, the note, and I might mark it up by highlighting parts of it, I might draw uh, arrows to certain areas of my notes, and then I'll type in my notes to them so that they stand out as separate. This is what I want you to look at or whatever, or I, I'm afraid you can't read this, so I've typed it in. There's reasons that you want to do typing sometimes. It, gives you all sorts of fonts. It gives you, again, 12 different ink colors, so, uh, so you can customize it exactly the way you would like. In paper options, you can do a white notebook paper, you can do a graph paper, white typing paper, or a yellow notepad, whichever you feel most comfortable with. If you go to app settings, there's lots of things that you can do in here. What, the one I'm going to show you, if you follow the lines here, if you look at the lines surrounding this box, I can actually tell it how far apart or how close together I want my lines to be. Now when I used to use actual notebook paper when I would take my notes, I don't do that anymore because I have all these notebooks of notes throughout the ages that I, then I go back and try to find the notes, it's impossible. So I do all of my note taking now on the iPad. I recommend that you do that too. It just everything's in one spot, I can find it, it's, it's just great. But anyhow, um, I, I always, when I did use paper, I like those collegiate lined notebooks that have the really skinny, I hate wide lined ones, you might be just the opposite, but that's how I like to take notes. I like to use a really fine tipped marker to write my notes. So I normally use the thinnest one on here and I use the skinny lines and I just feel like I'm at home. I, you can customize it exactly how you would like to use it. So it just it, it makes it very personalized. Anyhow, we're going to come back out here to the tablet. Keep in mind that this tablet's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. So when it is um, exported, or even when iOS 4.2 comes for the iPad, we're going to be able to print right to a wireless printer. So when this prints off, what you see.